Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Lindsey Graham. Oh. Okay. I know, we used to do another joke, but we don't do it. Oh, that's it. Oh. Covey tweets, uh, Lindsey Graham was out here for four months fighting the subpoena to testify, but flipped on Trump the minute he was behind closed doors and even hugged Fawny Willis and thanked her for allowing him to tell his story. <laughs> this is such a party of cowards, right? And then, you know, oh my God, of course it is. Ron DeSantis went on this tirade about anyone who kisses the ring, Trump's ring. Oh, he's a wonderful right. person. And then on the way out, he kissed more yeah. than the ring. But I Lindsey mean, Graham's not going to go to prison for him. I mean, that's the, you know, that's the, it seems to be the line where their cowardice like meets like, because I, oh, it, Lindsey, Lindsey Graham can't go anywhere near a prison and yeah. survive that. So there yeah, there's not no way. Cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> even in white collar prison, Lindsey Graham's not going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. What percentage of people are going to believe this? The one thing I've never been given credit for was the job we did on COVID. We did a fantastic job with all of the uh, all of the medicines. And all, if you look at Regeneron, all of the things that we did, we did a fantastic job. Have never okay. been given the credit for that. All of the things to do. Okay. I just, Don't I sound wonderful? All the medicines work so well. Right. And meanwhile, there's just a study showing thousands and thousands of people died from taking hydroxychloroquine. Yeah. And she's like, take it. What do you have to lose? Yeah, your life. That that would be it. I just, I, I, you know, we were saying, I love that MSNBC, at least, cut into his speech like, nope, he's lying yep. again. <laughs> he's yep. saying he won New Hampshire twice in a row. Nope. Nope. Computer says no. Nah. Nope. Lost in 2016 yep. and 2020. I mean, it's just... I, I'm hoping, listen, I know that they need clickbait. I know they're going to write these articles, but I hope there's still some journalists out there that want to save our democracy because they are the ones that have pen to paper right now or pen to computer. And just, I want to see from here on out, someone go rogue and start writing truthful yeah. articles about the former president who is declining quickly. And everything he says is projection. What do you say about Sununu? He's, you know, hopscotch. hopscotch. I think he meant hopped up. Yeah. On drugs, hopscotch. his hopscotch. <laughs> First of all, like, and plus, like, you l- listen to Noel Kassler about how well known his lifelong drug addiction is. His crushing up and sniffing Adderall it was starting from the set of, you know, The Apprentice to way before that in in New York, right? I mean, it's yeah. Just, well, we we just we were covering a story yesterday on the Beans. I'm not sure if you hit it on the show, but basically they were just handing out prescription oh, medication. Oh yeah, like candy. Form oh, yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, like candy. That's why. Ronald Jackson was the candy man. I mean, there's a reason why yeah. they called him that. If he wanted yeah, something, and he's, he got he's, it. And they were handing out basically speed balls. Yeah, and he's Trump's uh, cognitive uh, uh, you know, character witness. He's like, Dr. Ronnie says I'm A-OK. Yeah, he's, <laughs> I'm, he's the healthiest. He's going to live to be 100. Healthiest person I've ever, 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 yeah. ever, ever, ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it must give you special pressure, though, as a, you know, a LGBTQ activist that the don't say gay guy just went down, you know, faster than Lauren Boebert at a truck stop. What? I'm, yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, I do. I do love it. At the same time, everyone who's still in the race is horrifying. But at least we know that Ron DeSantis will not be president of the United States. And there is some joy in that. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was, by the way, we've been talking, I want to get your take. Dina Wadala said Donald Trump will 100% not debate Joe Biden. First of all, I don't think he'll debate Nikki Haley. I but don't know. He said either. that's for the same reason he refused to debate other Republicans in the primary. It would expose his dangerous mental decline. Trump's handlers get uh, get that, so they're hiding him from debates and tough questions. I, I mean, Dana, I know everything with him is, oh, he just gets a pass. Like, oh, it's Trump. But I it, will he really be able to get a pass to not you know, take a hard question or debate anybody before this? Oh, absolutely. I think he would absolutely get out of uh, debating Biden. My thing is that he is so misogynistic and for a woman to make him look bad. You remember the way he stalked Hillary Clinton on the stage? Like, I I think he, he... desires to do that the way Nikki just Haley. yesterday i think he wants to do it yesterday just the way he talked about nikki haley and e Jean carroll i mean we were saying noel castler said that's his original you know psychosis is hatred of women absolutely absolutely yeah. and if i was nikki haley listen i don't want her anywhere near the white house don't drop out there's no reason for you to drop out of Same. this race <laughs> if there's just zero reason for her to drop out if he gets indicted yeah. basically she's then i'm uh, not indicted because he's been indicted nine thousand times right. if he gets convicted she is and goes to prison she's the nominee maybe i mean just, there's no reason for her to drop out yeah yeah well and i think you know thank god it's not just her i think his actual dementia is breaking through the bad journalism <laughs> but the fact that oh, she keeps bringing boy. it up uh, is good i think absolutely 
You mean <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, Nikki Haley, Nancy Pelosi? Yeah, it's like the Taco Bell and the Pizza Hut. He doesn't know which one he's at. It's either Nikki Haley or Nancy Pelosi, and he can't tell the difference, oh, apparently. God. Yeah, that was disturbing. Um, you know, I've heard this one before, but you retweeted the clitoris has around 8,000 nerve endings, and it's still not as sensitive as a conservative man on the Internet. Um, and you said, I get, and I guarantee I can find an overly sensitive conservative man before he can find the clitoris, which I think that was a fantastic Thank you. point, Thank really. You. In yeah, this everyone culture is of just, misogyny. Is, man, for this toxic masculinity you've got going out there, they are just sensitive little flowers, aren't they? Yeah, they're all in their little mojo dojo casa houses. <laughs> That's right. How about that Greta Gerwig making a movie about the patriarchy and not getting a nomination? <laughs> Thank you for playing, proving my point entirely. I mean, listen, I, from what I understand, I would be... I would like to see more conversations, not necessarily about why she didn't get it, but why Ryan did. And uh, that's being and left out Robbie. of the conversation. Yeah. And Margot Robbie. And listen, I loved them all in the movie. And I did, yeah. I did, someone did write a good thing of like, the, the, the best supporting actors, their, the category was very thin. So oh. chances yeah. are Ryan got like in there. He was there. great, yeah. Because he too. was great, but also maybe there wasn't another Rustin, you know, to put, to put into. Yeah. We're field. speculating at Trump's um, next rally, he's going to wear a big fur coat and a headband. <laughs> yeah, it, it was unfortunate, but it was one of those things where you're like, thanks for proving us exactly yeah. what the plot of yeah. the movie is. Yep. Well, and you tweeted, there's something terribly wrong in this country that a convicted sexual assaulter with 91 federal and state charges who incited a coup in this country can even run for president of the United States. There's something even more wrong that even one person would support him. I mean, it, it, it really is disturbing some days to wake up in a country where this is even a possibility. Some days it's disturbing <laughs> every day. Yes, Steph. every day. Yeah, We're just all trying to get through it. It's absurd. Obviously, I, you know, everyone's like, I don't know what happened to our country. We all know what happened. It's just yeah. really still horrifying that we are where we are. And almost everything, you know, you've tweeted about, we've talked about, is it, it, through line of misogyny. You, you tweeted, uh, Sawyer tweeted, uh, holy uh, an estimated 26,313 Texas women have become pregnant from rape since the Texas abortion ban was passed. In Texas, there are no exceptions for rape, incest, or health of the mother. And you said, this can't be right. Greg Abbott promised to eliminate rape in Texas. I, I mean, mean, yeah. I can't keep a, a promise, apparently. It's, it's actually <laughs> horrifying because the numbers in, I think it's 15 different red states, all the ones that banned abortion, some of them do have exceptions for rape. Um, the numbers are horrifying mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you know what they're going to do in texas i guarantee they're going to call this a border crisis issue yeah. they're not going to talk about how it's usually someone in the house or it's a husband or yeah. it's someone they know they're going to say it's it's immigrants coming across the border illegally that's exactly what they're going to say they want to use this they already just said last yeah. night you probably covered it they're not going to fix the border crisis well, because again, if they go, do does, they have nothing to run on right how does one person even vote for that it's just these big stupid you know these dumb loud <laughs> solutions like oh well we'll just get rid of rape as if no one's ever thought oh oh maybe oh really maybe we should idea. no one's ever thought of that before you know i mean yeah ugh, anyway um